Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between to another episode of Sunday Best. With myself, Isuru Jinazena, and my Gavin fellow Kelly. comedian, Mr. Gavin Kelly. How are you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Episode 5, we're still alive. Take 5! <laughs> oh, man. Take, take 5, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good, man. Chilled week, I'm performing... <laughs> Tonight, uh, oh, at yeah, the bioscope. Yeah, yeah. At the mm-hmm. bioscope, you're doing you yeah. playing at uh, Mill Park. At that's that area, Mill Park. Yeah, 44 Stanley, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool spot, yeah. bro. It's a very yeah. vibey, nice spot. It's a cool audience as well. So yeah, it should, yeah, be, yeah. should be fun tonight. I hope. Sean Ray that runs that gig. Shout out to Sean Ray. Sean Rizzles. Mm. Yeah, man. Come Otherwise, on. how's the week? The week was uh, it was chilled, <coughs> man. Just did some recovering this week, man. It was a nice yeah, recovering it. week. Did you, did you do that marathon... I did, bro. You with your injured leg? Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I, I it was moderation. I I quit after twenty minutes. Well, I quit. Yeah, I, I just I so stopped running. The <laughs> I didn't finish. So you did like a jog, like I did like a twenty minute jog. My 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 calves were blown. They were so fucking sh- like sore. But it was like the first time I used my legs like that in such like a long time. Did Did you get a, a participation award? <laughs> once, once. I felt so alone, bro. And the homies went and like broke records. It was like crazy. Did, like, did anyone else like give up? Nah, dude. Nah, Everyone I think I was finished. the only one. The only one who had to give up. I saw up. a guy with a bubble loss there, fucking vomiting his life out of his. Fucking Are you sure that's the bubble loss or this <laughs> being unfit? It's so funny, dude. Like those the both. This roommate of mine in in varsity, this Asian guy. I won't say his name, but I remember he he decided to to join the hockey team because I used to play hockey for Res, and like all of us were like hardcore drinkers and were all unfit. <laughs> and then like the the captain of the team is like, so like are you guys fit? Can you guys do this? Are you guys available like to play? So my roommate's like, yeah, 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 I can do this. I'm, I'm very fit. I'm yeah. very fit at the moment. <laughs> That's that ego, boy. Dude, <laughs> and I shit you not, dude. Like ten minutes into the first half, this guy's on the side of the field. <laughs> <laughs> So my cap- the captain and I just look at each other and uh, we just start cracking Body up, is transforming, bro. I was, <laughs> was finished, bro. It was so and funny. And the body is a beautiful thing, dude. <laughs> These guys thought he was tough, man. <laughs> but it's like, I can't function on this, like, petrol that you've given me, dude. Eat a vegetable or something. Yeah, need, like, fuel. Yeah. So would you ever do, like, a... Not a marathon, obviously, but like With my six toes. Mm, fuck yeah. no. <laughs> so don't you see it as a challenge? Like, yeah, look, I mean, I mean, I do. I would love to like one day get my fitness to a point where I could get into a marathon and be like, yeah, you know, I did this marathon with <laughs> six toes. You motherfuckers don't know me. It's an achievement. You ten toes, motherfucker. <laughs> you ten toes. You know, like you ten privileged ten toe motherfuckers. Yeah, you privileged ten toes, son so of a bitches. It's quite an achievement if I get, can do it with six. You know. So yeah, I do think about that when I'm jogging on the treadmill at the gym. But like after six minutes, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I haven't even hit one kilometer yet. I'm going to die, bro. You should do a 6K. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember 2Ks in high school and I was dead, bro. Oh, you sucked when you had 10 toes, eh? <laughs> so the closest nah. I could do is 4K and that's gaming. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah man so I'll do like I think I'll, if you ever see me in a marathon it'll be like every leap year so oh so snap once every four years and speaking about once every four years <laughs> ladies if you want to propose to your man leap day is your big chance so now I'm worried my girlfriend's gonna get an idea Hey, bro, what will you say, dude? Yo, and, and it's in public. I don't know why people do that public shit, bro. Hey, bro, Prince, you did it in this game, bro. Did you in this game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're trying to get that this game for sponsorship, bro. That's hilarious, bro. Trying to get some free toiletries. It's like, let me buy these panados <laughs> and let me <laughs> pick my future with you. <laughs> obviously the kfc couple that's legendary yeah stuff. I, dude i i actually i went to hiking once with a friend um at the botanical gardens in this afrikaans guy comes like, hey, but uh yeah excuse me can you please uh help me would you mind recording us there i'm like okay sure <laughs> so recording this guy gets on his knee and i'm not, and i'm on the radio i'm like oh shit this is about to happen <laughs> He's just directing. This guy's like biggest moment in his life and right now. It's so now. funny because 
like I was a bit ahead of my friend and then she comes down a bit late and she sees what's going on so she whips out her phone and she starts recording and then after I, like I record the proposal she's, she says I also got some if you guys and then she, this dude's like who the hell are you <laughs> like we creep he's recording us <laughs> that's so funny bro. Uh, why do people want to do this in public and make a show of it it's interesting eh? they, they want to look at look world like they showing off their lover their partner the person that they've chosen it's weird huh? mm. also interesting it's also interesting that it's why is it such a a patriarchal thing to to be the one to propose and i like the idea I mean, oh, I don't like the idea that it has to be a leap day. Bro. Every four years, yes, yes, like, <laughs> yes, yes, bro. Imagine getting married on a leap day. Yo, so when is leap day? Like twenty something? The twenty ninth of Feb. Twenty ninth of Feb. Oh, it's an extra long month. So this year is a leap year. Yes, it's an extra long year. It's one extra year, one extra day. Yeah, hey, twenty four hours. So employees are like, yes, motherfuckers, you're gonna work harder. <laughs> <laughs> one more day in the calendar yeah okay yeah and so i was saying if you get married on the leap day your anniversary you only have to remember every four years oh wow <laughs> and, like, and like you might be married for 20 years but it's actually only five <laughs> your anniversary uh, anniversary is like a world cup right that's Bruh. amazing <laughs> imagine Sure. Philip is here <laughs> to marry you. Feel it. It is here. Yo, mm. bro. What would you say if your girl proposed to you right now? Uh, I'll be like, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, I'll get back to you on the next leap sorry. day. <laughs> <laughs> My phone ringing. Yes, hello. Yes. Uh, mm. <laughs> and you? Sorry, I can't do this now. Yo, I'll be like, yo, let's. <laughs> yeah, chill, 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 chill. Let's. <laughs> Yo, let's uh, have a performance You're gonna watch review. this and be like, <laughs> these motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's have a strong performance review. Oh, did you see? By the way, th- this week was registration, and uh, they announced the politics, the date for voting. When is voting day? Maybe leap day. <laughs> oh, yo, it'd be so funny if it's leap day. <laughs> I imagine. No, I can't remember now. Yeah, I can't remember ish. But the politics thing is starting to stir nicely now. Yeah. I think on the 29th of February, I'm going to listen to Dua Lipa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dua Lipa. I mean, it, it, mm. This is like February, February is almost over. So the month of love is. Yo. It's almost over. Thank God. So we can mm. stop buying our partners shit. So th- apparently, this tradition of leap day being like being the day that a woman can propose was created in, you know, I think Ireland. In Ireland mm. was one of the, one of the saints. So Saint Bridget, Bridget had to be a Karen. It's more like Saint Karen. Saint Bridget complained to Saint Patrick that women had to wait too long for men to propose in marriage. Why do women? have to be the ones who have to be proposed to why is that yeah man so saint bridget went to saint patrick told him to change the rules yo and he's he's compromised every four years yo yeah yes yeah and what a compromise mm. i know at least i know like in, in south asia uh no it's it's the parents that go and propose to them <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter what year it is, bro. Exactly, <laughs> bro. It could be fucking Diwali. They'll still propose. <clears throat> uh, sure. Which was in Scotland, not uh, Ireland. Scotland in the 17th century. Yo, because some people can get stuck in a relationship and they'd be waiting to get proposed to. And they, yeah, hey. that's an interesting thing, dude. So... I had exes tell me when they dumped me, or not really dump me, because I'm the one who just sabotages the relationship until they dump me. And I've had them say, like, oh, you don't even want to get married, so what's the point? It's like, ah, what about friendship? <laughs> you know? What about splitting the bill when we go for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> what about the good sex? <laughs> Uh, you know? Yeah. And Tosh was telling me, like, he's the woman that he was with. 
recently. Like this is touch. Yeah. Break up with the, what is it? Broke up with him because he didn't believe in God. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I've had ish, like things where like your religions don't align. Yeah. So she was very religious, and the one before that it broke up uh, because he didn't want children. Oh shit! Yeah. It looks like it's quite a comedy, like a comedian's thing. The like kids like, <laughs> don't believe in God and don't, don't believe in children. Kids, bro. We, we're all the same here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like if we do have one we must try and keep the mission yeah so some will keep some will choose God some will choose kids <laughs> you know but yeah people if you, if, if you don't like it don't like it I guess have, have uh, you ever dated a girl and she was like okay we've been dating for so long and you're not marrying to marry, like you wanted to get married so I'm out uh yeah i was probably in one long-term relationship but i was very young so but that was like almost six years seven years yeah i also had the same thing yeah but yeah. she wanted to to get married and have the, you know the kids and the picket fence and all that shit and i was like nope. no i gonna i wanna go do comedy <laughs> peace <laughs> i wanna go live my dreams you know mm-hmm. i don't know how that's working out <laughs> should have married her later she lives in the Netherlands now. She's like, exactly. You should have married her. <laughs> could have been doing comedy in the Netherlands. Yeah, you could have been in the Netherlands. <laughs> uh, snap, baba ish. So, what did it end with you and her? Uh, yeah, we just broke up because ish. Yeah, because no. too many leap days went by. <laughs> you didn't leap onto your knee. I was leaping in that relationship. Boy. Oh, you're leaping around. <laughs> I leap around. So I leap. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sleeping on the down low. <laughs> so you're a leap, bro. Yes, yeah, bro. So that one, that one uh, <clears throat> went down in flames. So yeah. Some yeah. some girls also break up with dudes when... Have you ever seen that Instagram like reel that's continuous where girls give their reasons for not dating a guy it's like a guy a girl will say oh if he's got an android no no so it's a no go flag and then there's this list which is like list number 684 yeah. reasons why women wouldn't want to be with a guy <laughs> and that list it just keeps going bro <laughs> <laughs> yo yeah ish complications boy mm. Your yeah, relationships, eh? Ish. A month of love, eh? <coughs> so the tradition has evolved over time and not strictly enforced as it was on that. Women proposing on Leap Day continues to be a fun and light-hearted tradition. Yeah, man. I guess but a woman doesn't have to wait every four years now, bro. She can do it on a Tuesday, bro, if she wants to, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but not with a ring, bro. With a pregnancy test. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, like if my girl ever proposed to me, she must bring a cock ring. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, sure. If I ever propose, I'll take it to a boxing ring. <laughs> That's also the Africans propose. This ring is square, babes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it killed me, bro. Anyway, but uh, so to get married, you need to go on dates. And speaking of dating, new dating app requires <laughs> a credit score of 675 or higher to join. Yeah, right. Why is this guy? So anyway, for those of you, this is like Tinder, but with uh, the banks involved. <laughs> with Absa as your wingman. So now you're Uh, I mean you might as well just put your your salary slip on Tinder bro (laughs) you might as well put as a picture on Tinder it's like Uh, so funny dude yo Mm. (laughs) three months back statements please yeah that's so funny bro Uh, proof of proof of residence (laughs) yo bro so I don't know what credit score of 675 is but I Hope that's. Uh, I hope I'm higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> is it an Edgar's credit card? Is it a yeah, it's a card? What are they talking mm-hmm. about, you? Yeah, what level is this? Or am I chilling in a penthouse in Sanson? Mm-hmm. So the app is called Score, and 
believe you deserve both in your life. So where'd you guys meet? Score. <laughs> it's supermarket. <laughs> The creators of the app believe while it can be uncomfortable, more potential lovers need to talk about money. This is true. How how, how much do you talk about money? Oh, with from the drum, bro. I'll tell you what time it is. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> We're under no illusion. You see my car drive. You see my Skoro Skoro. Come on, man. So it's interesting. My partner, she's the first like for her I'm like sorry for her I'm the first guy that's ever discussed finances openly and like is keen on being like a partner where we're both contributing to to this partnership <laughs> yes you know? you're not just out here paying for somebody's yeah you know, she said she's in the past she was used to dudes just splashing cash on I'm not she's not a stripper but <laughs> splashing cash in terms of being the one But the thing is, what happens when you meet a guy like that is that men who generally use money to spend on a woman to get her her love her, or her her attention, they generally want the woman also to be submissive. Also, you naturally become submissive when someone is splashing cash at you. That's yes, why. That's, that's why, what splashing oh, cash does. That's mm -hmm. why when you have a job, you're going to be submissive to your boss. You know. You're gonna laugh at his jokes. You're, you're gonna laugh at his jokes. You're gonna you know suck his dick. You're gonna suck you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in his booty <laughs> yep <laughs> or her booty depending on your boss is a female but to have a conversation with your partner about money I think it's obviously <clears throat> the first healthy thing you can probably do in a relationship it is yeah. it is. It shows maturity and growth mm. um, because at the end of the day if you're going to share a life together you need to to know what each other is like bringing to the table and is it worth because it's also like I personally think like a marriage or a long-term relationship is, is, is an investment. Yeah. Should be an investment. Some of y'all are liabilities to your partner. Yeah, me, I don't want to date a non-profit organization. Hey, sh that's for damn sure. I definitely want to date an NGO, <laughs> a non-government organization. This <laughs> person's <laughs> got a tender on it. Exactly, bro. <laughs> You have to pay for that tender. <laughs> Meanwhile, instead of like getting tender lips or tender thighs, <laughs> you get mm. was, um, get a tender dating app. You, uh, dude, that would be actually dope, man. Yeah. If like you could create an app for like contractors that yeah. can <laughs> swipe on tenders and swipe left or right, like this job we can do, swipe right, and if it matches with what the government is looking for <laughs> then you know you can go on a date yo uh, it's interesting how you could narrow down this uh, somebody's how to meet somebody now so this credit score what's next bro like favorite color or like you know geez how specific can we get yeah have you ever has, have you ever ended a relationship or dated because of someone's finances No, but it's nice to date somebody with with money. But then yeah. it also, you surprisingly spend more money as well. Cause, yeah, because you're trying to match it. Yeah, you're trying to, you're actually, you're, you're actually your toxic <laughs> masculinity kicks in. It's like, no. You're actually in Bali buying coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that cut deep, bro. <laughs> And now, like, yo. That was personal, mm, yo. Then you got five years. I'm in Bali <laughs> buying fucking coconuts. <laughs> What am I doing? No, you're buying back? coconut water instead, bro. <laughs> instead of actual coconuts. Yeah, so yeah, it's surprising. You actually do spend more money when you date somebody so who who's spends got money. Who's yeah. got money. Well, it depends. I think if the person has expensive taste, then yeah, sure. But yeah. if you're both like financially savvy, then it's a fucking win-win situation. Like you both want to maximize mm. but a lot of people aren't financially savvy eh? a lot of people hey eh, the credit that credit score is, that credit score is bad eh? in south africa <laughs> but they're driving a nice car yeah um, <laughs> dude i should drive around when i drive around like my car and i see all these big vehicles and i'm thinking yes dude there's so many people with these expense do they make this much money bro 8k a month standard for those cars bro for like 8K, years. some are 20k a month bro but then it's like insurance and petrol like now you spend like 10 30 yeah, those those cars are like uh i don't like it because i just think dude how much are you earning to be fucking paying 20k crazy. i think people do 
put a lot of money on their cars because it's Africa. We're a car culture country. Yeah, we live in our... But also, our banks are also quite racist. They don't give loans to people um, like easily. They give them to... In terms of a car, like a, 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 they'll finance your car quickly because mm. they can repossess that quickly. But a house, they can't repossess. So they're very like... You yeah, know. you miss one payment, yeah. That's what I was just saying. This is a bit classist there. Eh? Yeah, so that's the thing. That's yeah. that's the debate here. Is, is it classism or is it... Uh, what did it say? Yeah. yeah, yeah. aspirational, then it is classist. They're saying it's aspirational. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you, you wish it was us. This uh, this could be us, but you're playing. Yeah, yeah I don't know, man. I, like, I don't want to be swiping and the next thing you know, it's a fly, but you can't swipe because like, damn, this girl's out of my text bracket <laughs> you know <laughs> it does take so much of the romance out of it eh yeah sure I mean you talk about money it's kind of crass actually cause I mean this is something mm-hmm. that comes in like after you've been in the relationship for I don't know for me for be, like, s- six months to a year yeah a minute it's then you start talking about cause it cause that's know? when you like like oh we move in together yeah that's when you're like your partner is almost yeah. like your best friend which is like your you know your person and that's when you start you, you can be open to discuss things like that yeah man whereas when it's a matching dating site it becomes a bit superficial it, it's in a weird way yes, yes. because you mm-hmm. people are going to swipe not over who their personality or it's not like dating apps have personality anyway but they will choose the credit score as the factor to swipe so rather than the actual person's <laughs> looks also how does it work do you put like a setting like in tinder where kilometers you can put 30 kilometers radius do you also put credit score of like a limit on the credit score and that's how it matches and also just because you got a good credit score doesn't mean you're not an asshole yeah, yeah you could be a terrible you could be a person to date mm-hmm. you know you could be but abusive just because you get a you can get a loan now it's like hi-fi corporations what the fuck dude now you you can find love easy it's weird man this is strange and it is strange yeah. god damn it and, but money ish yeah it's one of those eh? in relationship <laughs> gotta get down to it can't be ish yeah non-profit organizations eh? <laughs> yeah the thing is it can't be a one-way street uh, not at all, bro. You know, because it's a partnership. And I, you know, what, what really frustrates me is that we live in a society where women want chivalry and they want to be submissive, but then they also run around preaching about equality and, you know, breaking gender gender stereotypes. You, you, can't, you can't want to break gender stereotypes and gender norms and social structures, but still want traditions. You choose, must choose one. <laughs> you know, either we split the bill and we're equal, or I pay for everything and I spank that ass harder than you can imagine. Patriarchy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's got to be one or the other. You can't be like, can't you can't have your cake and eat it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can have your cake and eat it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only time to eat cake. <laughs> you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyway, these type of topics make me want to leave relationships. <laughs> and speaking about leaving. Yeah, long distance. <laughs> SA expats increasingly returning home despite country's many struggles. Report. So, so you come back, eh? Yeah, you want to come back to the, the grass is not greener on the other side, eh? <laughs> just stay there. <laughs> Plus, it's also, you know what's happening? I think it's, they should change this to SA whites. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spring box <laughs> it's the spring box yeah, they yeah. just probably can't watch rugby spring anymore. box and Trevor Noah's ad bro it's kind of and Tyler people. and Tyler yeah and I'm a piano yeah it's all these winning South African mm-hmm. things that want to make that make people want to come back I was Ooh. I was in West Dean today just in West Dean it's like a colored community I saw so many girls that look like Tyler it's like a real thing now shit and they, they make you sweat no, they were pregnant, bro. <laughs> that is something that somebody made sweat, them bro. sweat. I don't want to sweat with them, bro. Yeah. So you're saying you saw pregnant Tylers? <laughs> I think I saw like 10 pregnant Tylers today. Wow, bro. <laughs> Make me push. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, expats coming back, bro. Yeah, it must be. So what do you think? Do you think they should come back? 
Hey, the they more the merrier, man. Would you welcome mm. them back? Okay, okay, okay. Why, Why would you come back to this unemployment land, bro? <laughs> Yo, did you see? You got a job overseas. Why are you coming back here, bro? They got robbed on the highway just up the road, yet. Did you see on the news? No. Twitter. I don't know why we're not doing an article. They got robbed just there by Goldrie City Who's on the they? highway in traffic. Who's they? Like a bunch of cars, bro. And Totsies. Mm. In broad oh. daylight. Mm. Oh, you're just talking about South Africans in general. Just again, you're day just, day dude, you're mentioning just <laughs> another night. That's a, you're mentioning that's, Tuesday that's night. That's what they're coming home to. That's oh. what I was like. Because yeah. I'm like, this guy just mentioning Tuesday night. It's like, they got robbed. <laughs> I was like, who's they? It was South Africans. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck does that mean? That's like, hey, that's every day. That's, that's lunch for us, bro. That's, and then? <laughs> that's why I'm like, what are you talking about? That's not, that's not newsworthy. That's, go, that's just room. That's just chats. That's, uh, uh, what do you call it? The water cooler chats, bro. Yeah. That's water cooler chats, bro. That's what yeah. <laughs> would, you, would you leave South Africa to work in another country? Uh, if I'm getting paid, yeah, you don't want to go to another country and just be broke. I might as well just be broke in South Africa, bro. So I wanna, I'll travel and experience the world if I'm getting paid. Yeah, it's worth it if you are getting paid. Yeah. I mean, we don't leave because of the land. We leave because of the money. Yeah, like Trevor Noah, obviously. Yeah, yeah like the credit score. <laughs> I'm gonna go find people with better credit scores. Yeah, you mm. find nations with better credit scores. You know, yeah, yeah, so yeah. You if you get an app for that, you swipe for which country? Yeah, South Africa's credit score is not too bad, man. Oh, we've got those uh, ish. Yeah, ish. We got Wait, some. Yeah, we got some problems. Load shedding, obviously. <laughs> Look, I, I'm gonna be. Uh, I don't know if it's patriotic now because I feel as if I've become more patriotic of the last few years. I don't know what it is. But I do feel like South Africa is still the best place in the world to live, even though I haven't lived anywhere else, like outside of the the continent. I still feel like in terms of the... A, a place is made by the people, not by the land or the infrastructure or the the food. or It's made by the people. That's what makes a place nice. When you think about your job, when you think about your relationships, when you think about your life, it's the people around you that really determine how happy you feel, like how much joy you bring. We're social beings, bro. Yeah, we're social beings, bro. At the end of the day. And South Africans, for me, are the most kind, funny, friendly, yeah. friendly people in the world. And okay, maybe not the ones who left in the nineteen mid nineteen nineties because yeah. mm. they obviously left because apartheid was over, and they're like, "Damn, it doesn't benefit us anymore." It's a civil mm. unrest. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, th- these ones might not be that nice. That's probably why they're coming back, because these are the racist ones that bounced. You know, If you left in Burma 2000, I'm like, okay, it's cool. You'll look for a new job. But if you went in after 1994, like on 1994, if you left, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're running away from some sort of crime. <laughs> you're leaving a leap here, man. Some social injustice <laughs> shit, bro. You know? So South Africans living in the UK and Europe are becoming more miserable every day with wars on their doorstep, uncontrolled immigration, and the increased cost of... Li- whoa, 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 whoa. Uncontrolled immigration? Uncontrolled. <laughs> Aren't they immigrants? <laughs> <laughs> There's immigrants complaining about immigrants. Come on, bro. That's like me complaining about Abba, my friend. <laughs> Why would I do that? Can't do it, bro. I, do I can't, bro. It's a conflict of interest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious and cold in, and the increasing cost of living yeah it's expensive there bro but yeah they say it's not all it's all as, it's not all savvy as, it, as people yeah. think because also remember we get domestic workers here in Europe they don't have no domestic worker bro if you do it's probably for a porno or an OnlyFans yeah you're <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the minimum wage there is different from our minimum wage yeah um but your products and stuff are more expensive there for some reason as well apparently especially um drinks and cigarettes cigarettes and stuff here yeah, rent yo bruh yo like these places like london and new york yeah apparently london you live in a shoebox Dude, people are living in containers. Yeah, man. Imagine you arrive on a container and you live on one. Eh? <laughs> RP to RP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a video yeah. of a South African expert living in Ireland, revealing his regrets about migrating overseas 
It has gone viral on social media. I don't know where it is. Oh, oh it's, uh, yeah, you click on that. It will open. Hey, TikTok has been a menace out here. What the f- That's just the tag. Let's see if yeah, we can. It's w- yeah, it's white South Africans. Try that one. That's just the hashtag white South Africans. No, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, there, there it is. It is. Yeah, yeah. How are they, guys? How's it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to all my South African friends. Hi. Yo, what is that guy saying there in the comments, bruh? Hi, bro. What is he saying, bro? Yes, yes. That's that's probably that's Zuz. Manje Twerker. You will have to leave your family, your friends, everything behind to come and start a new life. Because I know you will Oh, this guy's not very sociable, bro. <laughs> He's got to work on your people skills, mate. <laughs> Dude, yeah, bro. I mean, <laughs> that's not a <laughs> Irish thing. That's a you thing, bro. Yeah, he's like, I'm lonely. <laughs> Maybe he needs to check his credit score. <laughs> check his personality score. Jeez, bro. Sometimes you have to get yourself out there and get a hobby, man. Yeah. So maybe it's because... I think South Africans, especially white South Africans, probably have like a, a rep abroad. Because my girlfriend and I were talking about this, dude. Every time you watch a movie or series and there's a South African white guy in it, it's like some bad person. Like, yeah. Like, yeah some is like a smuggler, smuggler terrorist. terrorist some, yeah. Like you watch what's this Black Panther and this dude play like he's got a South African accent, you know? Leonardo DiCaprio, I don't think counts because he was Rhodesian. <laughs> In Blood Diamond. Oh yeah, he was in Blood Diamond. But he was yeah. also he also played Front Row Pinar, right? Oh, that was Matt Damon. Oh, that was Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, I'm confusing you. How was Matt Damon's South African accent? <laughs> I've never I've never watched Invictus, you know that. Me <laughs> too. I don't want to watch it. I remember flying to Cape Town <laughs> uh, and seeing this couple sitting next to me and they were watching Invictus on their iPad. Oh really? Yeah. It's like, yes, it's now I gotta deal with this <laughs> baby screaming behind me and this shitty movie next to me. <laughs> And you need those goggles, boy. Yo, yeah, those Vision Pro. Yeah, bro. Yo. But yeah, I guess uh, like they must get really lonely out there when they leave the country, dude. I don't know, dude. For me... Because also they go there to do like these shitty jobs. For us, it's different. If you're a comedian and you're doing comedy, it's a social thing just intuitively, just naturally. Yeah, I guess you are we, meeting people on the regular, especially if you're good at comedy, bro. People just gravitate towards you. Exactly, dude. Because if you're naturally like a funny person, yeah, people like funny. This people. guy needs to work on his tight yeah. five. <laughs> yeah, dude. Go like, tell, dude, come up with some jokes, bro. Don't yeah. just say the racist yeah. ones. They're probably saying all those racist jokes, and Irish guys are like, yeah, exactly. Bro. Irish people do not. Give a shit about racism, bro, because they suffered a lot in Europe, bro. Dude, so. you know it was Irish, bro. Oppenheimer, bro. Oppenheimer was Irish. Yeah, but it was Jew- Jewish, Jim- no, German, the Jewish. Actor, not the real Oppenheimer. <laughs> Cillian Murphy, Peaky Blinders. Oh shit, he's Irish. He's Irish. He's like a humble Irish guy. I was watching a, like a little interview of him. He's like a, he's like he drinks Guinness. He's like the whole thing, bro. Yeah, shit. Like believes in leprechauns. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fucking good actor, bro. The way he transformed for Oppenheimer is one reason also I wasn't to like that him. impressed there. Oh, he didn't like the eyes. He, he, the guy had the same expression the whole time. He was like, <laughs> That's the whole expression. You're being the a movie. real person, you have to be the, subtle. The bro. whole movie, you're just doing this is his expression, dude. This is it. Like, <laughs> That's the whole movie. <laughs> That's, the That's the expression you make. When you just created a, a atomic fucking atomic bomb, bomb. Like, <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> like, did I leave the stove on? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! Did you watch the trailer for June Dune Dune, Dune Part oh, Two? I, I need to go. I loved. I've watched the first 1976 Dune. I loved this remake that they made the first. Oh one. really? Yeah, I need to go to the theater to watch it. There's, a, there's some good people making that movie. That Dennis Villeneuve. Uh, did you see the cast? Cars is fire. Oh, Hans Zimmer's there. Of course, with anything with Hans Zimmer. Is. Hans Zimmer's. Oh. Did you see the uh, the Deadpool trailer? Yeah, that was fucking hilarious, dude. Who mm-hmm. the guys like I'm Marvel Jesus? Yes, <laughs> I want to see that. 
<laughs> oh, making like, Madame Web was so bad, dude. Trash, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they remixed the responsibility line, you know, where Spider Man says, with great, well, Uncle Ben says, with great power comes great responsibility. Yes, so Madam Web, they're like, with great response, with, with responsibility comes superpowers or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, the guy at the end, the, the, the villain, dies by falling on a Pepsi sign. <laughs> Yo, sponsored the movie Coke. Yeah, it's, it's, Sony's wild, bro. Sony's making these movies. And yeah, Sony's really trying, eh? The Sony verse. Yeah, they really they fucked up though because what they should have done is they should have gone with because the, the Venom they could have used had the Venom movie right, and then they could have had because they had the Morbius movie, and they could have gone with like a, bringing Andrew Garfield back, and made like. The trilogy. Yeah, they could have done like a Sinister Six movie. Yes. They can make that trilogy happen, <clears throat> yo. You could have made that, but Marvel came. Yeah, they keep fumbling. The, the, yeah, they keep fumbling it, bro. It's bad. But people still watch those Makaka movies, bro. Well, I mean, I like Mobius, bro. And people, yeah. <laughs> people think it's bad. I enjoyed it. Serious, Yeah, I didn't yo. think it was that bad. I was like, what? it's a comic book movie, bro. What are you expecting? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's Popeye, bro. It's Popeye mm-hmm. at the end of the day, bro. What do you want? Do you want fucking James Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz mm-hmm. to be mm-hmm. chilling in the dark corner the whole time, whispering mm-hmm. at each other? Is that what the fuck you want? <laughs> you talking about Batman I now. fucking hate it, Batman. Yo, what a piece of shit. And then I see YouTube videos where like, Batman, why Batman is a masterpiece. I'm like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. This clickbaity bullshit YouTube video here. <laughs> Definitely not subscribe to that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I thought it was a cool orange and ba- orange and Batman story. Uh, the first one's always mild, though. No, oh, dude, they must stop making Batman movies. That's true. Then they brought Michael Keaton back for the Flash, oh. bastards. Yeah, just I to felt, kill him. I felt so bad for him, dude. Like you could see in his face, he's like, "I'm just doing this for the money." <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get paid, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So apparently, these expats are going to be allowed to vote. Oh snap! Yeah, just generally the case. What's going on in your mouth? It's ah, oh, just put it on and off, maybe technical difficulties this is a malfunctioning show today eh? yeah there we go mm. ah bro mm. south africa is nice guys yeah i i do i think the no the word is i don't know if people know what coloring is but it's like envious of everything that's going on in sa and seeing sa you know, blow up on the map so people are probably like, man, maybe we should go back, you know. Yeah, our marketing's been good, man, with the Springboks and, you know, Trevor Noah, Tyler. And Borovos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you know, we got that Tottenham deal. <laughs> we, did, we, did, we didn't get that Tottenham deal. Bro. <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> I, I mean, I watched Premier League and, I've ne- and I watched Tottenham games. You never seen and it? I've never <laughs> seen Visit South Africa at the Tottenham Stadium. Bro. Serious? Never. I thought we got that deal. It was probably mm-hmm. some tender that went south. Ish. <laughs> My yeah. credit score wasn't good enough. Yeah. There's no is that. I don't believe in that. Yeah, uh, okay. But overall, marketing is decent. Yeah, the load shedding is a mess and crime is a mess, but we'll see. Yeah. Ish. But yeah, man. Anyway, from uh, dark times in South Africa to dark chocolate, well, not really. <laughs> Bad news for chocolate lovers in South Africa. So, those of you who uh, indulge in cocoa, there's going to be a cocoa price hike. Dude, I'm in love with the cocoa, bruh. Yo. I'm in love with the cocoa. <laughs> you know what's so funny, dude? I, you know, I'd never seen the word. Like, as a kid, I always assumed Coco was spelled C-O-C-O, like Coco Pops. Oh, yes. And then a friend of mine <laughs> was at their house, and they had, he had Coco Powder, right? And I saw it's the way it was spelled C-O-C-O-A. Yes. So I took it, I was like, oh, Cocoa. <laughs> and he just looked at me, he's like, Cocoa? <laughs> what did you call me? Yeah, you bloody Cocoa. This guy mm-hmm. fell to the floor laughing at me, dude. He's like, Cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. He's like, but that's how it's spelled, bro, Cocoa. Isn't there another one called Cocoa? Cocao. Yes. Yeah, that's for the one that's for cocaine, isn't it? The cocao plant? There's another one, yeah. It's like like a sugar or something. I don't know. Maybe it is this one. But this affects me, man. Yo. <laughs> this affects me too, man, because I like dark chocolate. Yo. So normal chocolate is going to be the price of lint chocolate, and lint chocolate is going to be the price of fucking your car, dude. 
Yeah, now we're gonna get credit. Check out credit score for chocolate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. Gonna need credit for chocolate. Cause they got loans for chocolate. Imagine, bro. Chocolate Char- is a game changer, bro. Gotta have that in your life. Have you ever seen how they make the? Uh, they make cocoa powder. Mm-mm, how do they it's make it? It's such a wild process. So like the cocoa, it's not like a bean. It's like it. It looks almost like a lychee. Okay. And then they open up this lychee thing and it squirts it out and then they dry it out completely. Oh snap. And then they roast it and bake it and then they crush it into a fine powder. Oh shit. And then they sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> it's a brown powder and a white powder. <laughs> so is this is all is all chocolate affected? I think this is a green that goes into all chocolate, so yes, bro, and it's global. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you buy chomp. <laughs> In chomp your, is definitely not affected because you know that chomp is not actual chocolate it's it's called it's a chocolate flavored coating serious yeah so when you buy chomp you're a chump oh goodness gracious me <laughs> but chomp mm. you can't deny though a chomp is fire it's got that nice caramel biscuit it's dope it's i haven't actually mm. had a chomp in so long bro yeah they, they, they're they still out there bro i haven't seen them in the stores yeah bar one still slaps eh bar one and five star for me yo i don't really fuck with those kind of chocolates. What do you TV bug at? <laughs> no, I go to Tesco's and get like imported dark chocolate. Serious? Mm. You don't you don't uh, play around with the like the ones you get at pick and pay and spa. If you're talking about like the side aisle just yeah, before you get to the two, yeah, the one that one hooks you before. The one that kala kala you. Nah, the only one is probably like a Kit Kat dark or an Aero dark. But oh, Aero dog. I got a couple of those in the fridge right now, bro. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah I'm like sharing some, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what a host. <laughs> <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. Have you seen the like, price? Have you seen the price of Coco? <laughs> <laughs> Your people aren't going give, to give... So that means chocolate cake is also going to go up. Mm-hmm. And I love chocolate cake. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> chocolate strippers are gonna go up <laughs> yo <laughs> yeah man <laughs> how much is a lap dance you crazy <laughs> Jesus mm. oh it's so funny bro oh. so what's your favorite chocolate bro like what chocolate is your chocolate of choice mm. yeah I know those um those ones that Woolworths slap that the chuckles the chuckles slap yeah we love chuckles <laughs> we'll actually work for chuckles yeah uh, also the lint those are just so yeah, premium you can't go wrong with the lint eh? like the dark chocolate with like hazelnut or pepper or perry like perry what is that one it's like a pepper yeah it's oh the chili chocolate chili there we go yeah yeah that's nice that's, that's fire, like bro. fire even the, the salt the sea salt and the texture of that chocolate is so good like mm. it, you can chomp on it, but you can also just like melt in your mouth. You can't chomp it. You can only chomp a chomp. <laughs> Bloody chomp. <laughs> I love che- anything cherry flavored, like cherry and chocolate. Yo. Oh. And a nougat a chocolate bar is pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nougat is also good, man. Yeah. I love me some nougat. And I like uh, chocolate peanuts and... Chocolate coated peanuts. The other one, the chip, the biscuits. I don't know what that's called. But oh, the, cho- the Cadbury biscuits. They called tumblers, those things. Whispers. Whispers for our whispers. Whispers, go, uh, yeah, whispers, yeah, whispers, whispers are really good. Yeah, whispers there. Yeah. Shit, whispers. whispers are like, the best time to have whispers is in a library. <laughs> <laughs> I always have it at IMAX theaters. That's funny. Because yeah, you can't make noise. <laughs> so what I do is I have Astros. I throw Astros into my popcorn at the theater. You do whispers. I'm oh yeah, I'll go whispers, but Astros is a very close second, bro. So wait, mm. whispers and what's your choice, choice of slush? Not a slush guy. Not a slush guy. Oh, not a slush man. guy. Give me that coke. I get that cherry slush, bro. That's crack. <laughs> Yo, bro, my girl actually orders that. That thing is crack, dude. It's like, crack, yes, dude. It's, that's why I don't order it. That thing. I hate it when you finish the fucking slush puppy and it's just the ice. I so no, I don't do that. I sip slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to melt throughout the movie then it, the, the yeah because what, so uh, what I like is that the, you just have the popcorn with your Astros and like the, the salt and then just just a touch of that slice just because <laughs> you know if you go <laughs> you get a sugar rush you fall asleep your fucking thing is finished just ice and you miss the movie <laughs> ruined because you don't want a sugar rush like that dude no not like that that's intense 
But that's a good technique. I like that technique, bro. It's just yeah, I go for the the cream soda or Coke or Fanta or whatever. Mm. But like the, geez, that thing's like two NPC, liters. An NPC over here. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is huge, though, bro. You get the you get the large. Yeah, dude. That Shh, thing is massive. You ball out, huh? Oh yeah, yeah I go full volume. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Take take. He's probably going to the movies in a while. Maybe actually, maybe I must go tomorrow. You gotta go watch June. Go watch poor things, bro. Fuck, but it's probably on stream here now. You know what I'm bummed I missed was God, Godzilla minus one. Ooh, I watched that in the theater. I told you, yeah. I'm so jealous. Yo, that one, yeah, that one slept, bro. Yeah. Fuck, I haven't gone to the movie theater in so long. I wonder what the price of chocolates would be there. Sure, if the price goes up anymore, bro. That was people. I saw the price of DSTV went up. Mm. Oh, I don't pay for DSTV. The audacity to make that product go up in price. That that product should be going down in price instead of going up huh? yeah it's because they're trying to they're trying to meet the the online streaming platforms demand so poor crop growth and disease in west africa have lowered cocoa production driven up prices i didn't know most of our cocoa comes from west africa okay so uh, yeah so when i go to tesco's a lot of the dark chocolate that i buy there is from ivory coast serious yeah they they produce some really Where's the Tesco's? So I don't know if you've been to. Okay, so there's one near my place. There's one at you know where Ferndale Crossing is. It's like it used to be Brightwater Commons. Okay. Uh, I think I don't know if Cresta has one, but like it's, you'll see it pop up at very at random malls. It's not it's not pop up, but it's like a sweet store, and you can find all this imported shit in there. Like you can <laughs> even get like imported cereals, but you pay out your ass. <laughs> pay out your ass dude. shit bro because well, the thing is you can get specials and that's worth it that's where I got Reese's but they do sell Reese's at um, grocery stores now but that's where I usually buy Reese's yeah, yeah okay. Reese's pieces the Willy Wonka of Tesco's bro mm -hmm. yeah no if anyone knows like, and Tesco's is an American thing I think okay so so you can get like you know those Japanese Kit Kats that have like wasabi flavor and all these funky ass Japanese flavors? Yes. Yeah, you can get those there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need you, to check out this place. You can even get um, like some the cereals that you don't get here, like Tasty Wheat, and you can get Hershey's, these American Oh, snap, board. man. So it's all there. Oh, snap, there's the date, 29th of May. Do you plan on voting in the national elections? Yes. You know what I know? My mom showed me her new ID card today. And I was actually thinking about it. Like, a lot of people who are going to use their ID card to vote, they're just going to scan the barcode, beep, and then vote or whatever. Whereas us old school folks with the, the don't pass the book, that they put a sticker in <laughs> showing <laughs> when you voted. <laughs> so, like, at least... You know, with, with the old ID, you could you have evidence that you voted. Yes. With the new ID. Yeah, yeah, it's blank. It was digitally mm. recorded, apparently, now. Exactly. So. Ish. Yeah, the price is going up. Yeah, man. So, anyway, from dark chocolate to dark skin, <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly's dramatic black ink tattoo is slammed by fans. Did someone draw on him with a marker so I don't know if you guys have seen but this uh, average rapper <laughs> <coughs> has done the dumbest shit ever by tattooing his whole chest and arms when I first saw it on social media dude I thought it was like paint that's a tattoo man damn man that's a tattoo <clears throat> and you know how much a tattoo is so expensive bro Yo, yeah, bro. When I see people with a lot of tats, like, firstly, I think it's pretty cool. But, and I think it's very sexy when women have, like, tats all over. But thirdly, I think, fuck, man, how much money do you have? I and mean, you probably can spend a fortune here. Cause just one tattoo alone can... It's the price of a, of an, a PlayStation 5 game, I guess. Yeah, dude, imagine you're pulling out loans to get tattoos. <laughs> like, what's your credit score <laughs> to get a tattoo? These small ones aren't too expensive, but like if you go like that, because mm. the tattoo artist is working the ass off, bro. Dude, how does he not get poisoned? His skin, yes, like it, man. 
That's crazy, man. Go for a crazy. So he was brying, and then <laughs> <laughs> while he was cleaning the price stand, <laughs> the weaver attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who's doing the bry? Well, this guy looks like he's done it already. <laughs> At least you know he doesn't have to wash his hands after he does the bride. Is that guy's the bride master? <laughs> <laughs> I want to take an onion and just go. That's <laughs> really. <laughs> Cut a half onion. Did somebody get an onion for this guy, bro. Or an orange. Mm. Jeez. Jesus, eh? It's he did it because he's dating Megan Fox. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I didn't know she liked mm. black guy. <laughs> Imagine you got a face tattoo like that. Yo. <laughs> and you'd be doing blackface. Yeah. yeah. If you tattoo mm. your face black, is that blackface? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> yeah, bro. Remember that guy who tattooed his whole body into a skeleton? He had a skeleton tattooed on his body. Do you remember that guy? No, I don't He's doing music that. videos and stuff. Let me school him. Um... I'm gonna type skeleton tattoo guy. Uh. <coughs> this guy, yeah. Yes, like it. I remember like this guy. It looks like a Tim Burton character. Yeah, the check this dude out, bro. Wow. It's called Zombie Boy. He tattooed his, his scope. Everything, bro. One of his dick has also got a tattoo on it. Of his dick. Things you can't... But there's no bone in a dick. Yeah, yeah. It's just a boner. <laughs> <laughs> That's unless you get aroused. Yes. <laughs> then it becomes a boner. It's crazy, huh, this guy? It's like maybe this is what Machine Gun Kelly was trying, but... It was a mistake and he had to rub it out. Yeah. Well, like, why did he, why did he stop... By the torso. Because mm. he was like, I spent money on these ones. I can't tattoo over it. It looks like he's, got, yeah, he's, t he's tattooed over tattoos. Yeah, dude. What a waste of those tattoos. Just perfect tattooception. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Nolan was a tattoo artist. <laughs> sure. That's funny. Oh. Isn't that also a Satan tattoo, that A1? That hey, man, the whole of Hollywood is following the Satanic shit, man. You saw what's his Ice Spice throwing fucking devil signs at Super Bowl. <laughs> and, and Taylor Swift shaking her head when Ice Spice said, thank God. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, that's wild, man. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. More material for Eminem if they ever get into a rap battle. Yeah, this is what happens when you lose a, a, a rap battle with Eminem. You, you tattoo... Your, tattoo your shame away yeah also apparently his dad died so that's another reason why he did this you see now ish the death of his father so why don't you just get a tattoo of your father what do those tweets say let's read them Ugh, it's just people bitching what, what I, I see, see is long term ink poison that's not um, looking good did someone draw him on a, with a marker not looking good that's a lot more than I expected. Did someone spill the ink? I hope it's not permanent. Ugh, Looks a mess. Did you know what a tattoo is? Not mm. a single funny... Mm. Try out oh. your Damn it. Damn it. That's why none of them have like likes, like one like, three likes. <laughs> <laughs> not funny These enough. tweets were written by ChatGPT. Bruh. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we tried. We're roasting him. Yeah. He, well, he already looks roasted. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to roast him anymore dude. actually looking like a bag of charcoal yeah. mm. looks like what chaka mm. <laughs> this guy's chaka zulu now chakas <laughs> the charcoal uh, guy machine gun kid yeah, at least sure. you know if, if this guy wants to go work at a coal mine He's like you're hired <laughs> you get the job did you want to look at my CV no 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 just, just look at my chest I say with my chest <laughs> Sure, Chuckle Kelly, eh? He's gonna change his name to Black Chest Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> mm, how are we doing for time? Yeah? <laughs> so we're on 60. 16. 6 0. Oh, we're an hour. Let's yeah. wrap it up. Let's wrap it up, man. Mm. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, everything in between for tuning in to another episode of Sunday Best. Episode five, man. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell us yeah, what you think. Please do man. all of all of that, guys. Um, and also, if you are planning to celebrate Leap Day, <laughs> do it by leaping on your knee if you want to get married. Yes. And uh, if you plan to date someone on Leap Day, check their credit score. Don't take a leap of faith there. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike South Africans who are coming back, that's a leap of faith. Yo, big one. And if you're going to buy chocolate, I suggest you don't because it's fattening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, let's get a chocolate tattoo it's probably cheaper yeah I'd rather get a chocolate <laughs> tattoo but I mean if you got dark skin you won't be able to get a chocolate tattoo that's, that's true eh? unless you get a white chocolate yeah there's a, there's a gag by Harry Kondabolu you know Harry Kondabolu no this is Indian comic he's got this joke about like why did what was wrong with normal chocolate in the first place that we had to make white chocolate that's hilarious you know He's like, do, do you like the taste of chocolate but hate it, hate the color? <laughs> it's white chocolate made to you by the same people who made white cheeses. <laughs> wow. It's a brilliant gag, bro. That's so funny. That's it's my a... favorite gag I've ever heard. <laughs> wow, that's great. No, you must see the whole bit, dude. There's a whole bit of it. It's fucking brilliant. Let's check his special out. He's got one on... Um, I'm going to watch it. On Netflix, yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning cool. in. Episode 5, we out. Peace. Peace.